Hey, Seattle. How are you? That's what we like to hear. So as we get towards the end of our day, we like to say we save some of the best for last. Uh, here at end, we have with us today, um, I think some people that don't need an introduction, but we will. And of course, it is the wonderful Summer Glau and Sean Mayer of Firefly Flame. Hello, guys. Hi. How are you? Good. So, brown coats, let's aim to misbehave a little bit, shall we? And let's, let's, uh, first, this is the kind of crowds that you guys are still pulling in for a show that 16 years now it has been in our hearts and that it's still new fans finding all the time. In some ways, when you see this kind of devotion still that comes out for it, does, does it ever get weird in a moment where you go, wow, that it just is a show that is never losing its fan base? It just comes in and you get this amazing love all the time. Is it, is it, how does that feel? Does it register for you guys? Is it, is, it, is it odd? Because you guys have been on all different kinds of shows and seen what passion brings. Is it odd? It's lovely. I mean, it never, it's a little odd. It's a little, it's, <laughs> I mean, who would have thunk? Right, you know? yeah. A little show that could. It constantly surprises me, um, but then it doesn't surprise me. Yeah because we love it as much as the fans love it. So, yeah. you know, to and come together timeless. to continually celebrate and, 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 and talk about it is, you know, it's yes. pretty remarkable. In, in fact, right before we came over here, we were, we were signing and, and a young, a, a, a very nice young man came up and had, had a, a, one of our, it was one of the original fan art and had signatures, uh, almost everyone's signature. Really? And I said, oh, you know, when did you get a Gina? And he said, oh, it wasn't me. It was my parents when I was a baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Now it's generational and fans. Like, there you go. Yes. You know, he, he didn't, he, he's a new fan. Yeah. You know, he's standing in line and that's just amazing. That is I always check in with new fans, usually like, I don't know, Pre-teens or, mm -hmm. or teens who have just have just been introduced to the show, and I always just say, like, how's it feel to you? Because you know, when I've watched stuff in the past, it right. feels a little dated, a little dated or right. you know, the production value isn't up to par. But I feel like that's also what's kind of timeless about Firefly. It yeah. doesn't. Uh, the feedback I'm getting is it's not dated, and it does yeah. feel very uh, relevant and and. Um, and, and present, you know? Um, so I, I think that's, that's pretty cool, too. That's part of the magic of it, absolutely. Yeah. And the stories that still resonate, uh, you know, and also your relationship, you know, people, the characters are the thing that make this show, if everybody falls in love with a different one, and the dynamic between the Tams has always been really a special one. It's, and I think that's always the feeling, you know, 14 episodes of the show, one movie, but there's always this feeling like, I wish I had hours more to spend with these people. There are other stories that you were tipped up or that you knew if you guys had the chance that we get to see those. And with you guys, with, with your characters, you know, I, you've had all this time to see what fans would theorize about it. There's novelizations that still come out about it. You know, as actors and just as creative people, do you, um, think about, you know, where your characters could be in a show now if it were to come back or if you were to tell stories, the things that you were really interested in that you regret that there weren't more hours to tell. I, it's, it's so funny. We, we talk about this all the time and I feel like it's just, it's one of those that it, it could have gone like 10,000 different yeah. paths with, with everybody. Um, and I think we were all sort of touching on that towards the yeah. Before we got the axe, there was, you know, some, some arcs and, 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 and transformations that were happening um, that we never really got to bring to fruition, but, you know. Yeah. Did you, did you feel any summer that you were, I mean, we got such a, a, a great kind of evolution of where River went in Serenity. Uh, so, so for her to, you know, kind of have a couple of moments in that movie where you felt like, oh my God, you know, that they were just incredible powerful breakthrough kind of moments for her. Um, 
were there places that were still really interesting to you that um, even maybe you guys talked to Joss about that were stories, you know, or when you when you talk to Tim, you know, that were things that could have happened that you were like, mm, that would have been cool. The Well, the way that they write is so rich that they're, like Sean said, just a million different directions that the story could go. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying earlier, there's a character for everyone to relate with, or maybe even a relationship yeah. within the ship that people can relate to. And I think that that is why this story seems to, to hit people in, uh, it, it seems to connect in a way that not many shows do. Right. It's because of the way that the characters are written, it feels so real and, um, uh, Joss, Joss was always pretty secretive about yeah, the about backstories, everything. <laughs> even though we know that they were there. Right. And every once in a while, we would catch him in a mood where he would tell us a story and we would just be swept up in it. Uh, I'd love to see where the characters go next. And I wouldn't be surprised at anything. 